Welcome to a lesson on using similar triangles to determine unknown values. So here we're given that these two triangles are similar, we want to determine the value of x and the value of y. Remember if triangles are similar, then the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportional. So let's start by identifying the corresponding sides. The longest two sides are corresponding, as well as the shortest two sides, leaving this side here to correspond to this side here. Let's start by trying to determine the value of y. In order to set up a proportion and only have one unknown, we have to make sure that we know the length of at least two corresponding sides. Notice how that the side of length nine corresponds to the side of length six. So we'll have nine to six must be equal to the ratio of eighteen to y. Notice how we only have one unknown, so now we can cross multiply and solve for y. So nine times y, or nine y, must equal six times eighteen, which is one hundred eight. So now to solve for y, we just need to divide by nine. y is equal to twelve. Now let's go ahead and solve for x. I'm going to go ahead and use the ratio of nine to six again. So nine to six must equal the ratio of four x minus one to ten. Again, we'll go ahead and cross multiply. So we're going to have six times four x minus one must equal nine times ten, that's ninety. So we'll go ahead and distribute here of twenty-four x minus six equals ninety. Add six to both sides. That'll give us twenty-four x equals ninety-six. Divide both sides by twenty-four. It's going to give us x equals four. So if x is equal to four, this side would be four times four minus one, or fifteen units long. Let's go and take a look at the next example. Again, we're given the triangles are similar, we want to determine the value of x. And again, let's start by identifying the corresponding sides. This side corresponds to this side, the two longest sides. Now let's identify the corresponding shorter sides. This is the shortest side of this triangle, and this is the shortest side of the bigger triangle. Therefore, this side here corresponds to this side here. And this is the information we needed to determine our proportion. So for our ratios, let's compare the smaller triangle to the larger triangle. So three to six must equal five to three x plus one. And now we'll cross multiply. Three times three x plus one must equal six times five. Six times five, which is thirty. Let's go ahead and distribute. We're going to have nine x plus three equals thirty. So let's go ahead and subtract three on both sides. That'll give us nine x equals twenty seven. Divide both sides by nine. So we have x equals three, which means the length of the side would be three times three plus one, which is ten. Let's take a look at one more. Here we want to solve for x and y given these two triangles are similar. So let's start again by identifying the corresponding sides. Here's the longest side of this triangle. Here's the longest side of this triangle. The shortest side looks like it would be this side here, which would correspond to this side here of length nine, leaving us with this side here corresponding to this side here. Remember, in order to set this proportion up, we have to have one known ratio meaning we want two corresponding sides that we know the length of. So looking at the green sides, we, we know that this side of length twelve corresponds to this side of length nine. So twelve to nine must equal, let's go ahead and solve for x first, five x minus two to twenty-one. Cross multiply, nine times five x minus two must equal twelve times twenty-one. So we'll have forty-five x minus eighteen must equal 
252. Go ahead and add 18 to both sides. Well, 252 plus 18, that's going to give us 270. Now we'll divide both sides by 45. 270 divided by 45 is equal to 6. Now let's go ahead and determine the value of y. Let's start by using the ratio of 12 to 9 again, which compares the large triangle to the small triangle. So to determine the value of y, we'll have to have the ratio of 18 to 3y plus 3. And we'll cross multiply. 12 times 3y plus 3 must equal 9 times 18. So we'll have 36y plus 36 equals 162. Now let's go ahead and subtract 36 on both sides. That's going to give us 36y equals 162 minus 36 is equal to 126. Divide both sides by 36. So we'll have y equals 126 divided by 36 is equal to 3.5 or 3.5. And, and we'll stop here for this video. I hope you found this helpful.